Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share with you creating and learning uh, 3D art. My name is Jason. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, how to set up your texture exports in Substance Painter for use in Cycles Blender or Blender Cycles, excuse me. Uh, so here we are in Substance Painter and you have your model all textured up and ready to go and it's time to export them and bring them over to Blender but uh, you don't have the exact uh, export settings figured out yet. Uh, I find the easiest way to get them exported and set up for Blender is to just go here to the PBR Metal Rough preset, select that one, duplicate it, and then rename it. Cycles, we'll just call it Cycles. Uh, that way it's easier for you to identify it uh, every time you export. And the main thing that you want to be uh, paying attention to is the normal uh, texture output. And right now it's set to DirectX and we need to change that to OpenGL. So you go over here to your converted maps and right below normal DirectX you see normal OpenGL. <clears throat> you just want to drag and drop that right over that RGB icon and then hit from RGB channels and just uh, hit OK or, or left click and it'll drop it right in there. You can see that now it's normal OpenGL because uh, the little color identifier is the color that's in there in the icon now. And to keep things organized just type OpenGL for the preset there. Uh, that way when you export your textures it'll have the name and the the what texture map it is for example this is the beer mug texture so it'll be beer mug base color beer mug roughness beer mug metallic etc etc uh, for the most part that's all you really need to worry about um, if you are somebody who likes to use displacement uh, one thing you can do is here right below the normal you can just drop down to the height channel or the height map Go over here to the input maps and just left click displacement, drag and drop that right into that gray channel and you can see it updates the colors so you, they, you know what's in there. This color is the displacement. And, and also once again to keep things organized we want to rename that. Oops. Oh, it's not <laughs> displacement. Did I spell that right? Yep. Why does it look like I spelled it wrong? Anyways. Um, and you don't necessarily need the emissive or the alpha channel. The alpha channel in this case is uh, using an opacity map. But I just like to leave it that way because it's something you might use in the future to like make uh, like glass or something. <clears throat> and once you are ready, you just... Uh, Go back to your export and then the export uh, config selection. You just scroll down till you see cycles and it'll show you here which maps are going to be exported out. In this case, we have all those ones that we left in there. Uh, once again, I just want to bring your attention to the normal OpenGL. That's the, the big one. And then you want to make sure you have your uh, path directed to where you want it. Um, like if you save all your stuff in, you know, Drive C or whatever. In this case, I save mine here to my project, the beer mug, and the Substance Painter folder. I already have it set up for that. And uh, once you're ready for that, you just go ahead and hit Export. Oh, and uh, you want to pay attention to your resolution size. Depending on the project, uh, you can set it accordingly. Uh, in this case, we're just going to do a 4K texture export. And you hit export. And it take a second there. And you can see it says uh, some warnings. You don't have to worry about that. Basically, since I don't have any opacity maps, uh, it's just letting me know that, hey, we didn't export an opacity map because there were none. All right, and then we can uh, hop over to Blender here. And I got the my beer mug all set up. And as long as you have your principled shader uh, already on there, 
I have uh, that's the the texture that I have on there. The I'll just go over here and click on it. So see here, I named it Beerstein, and it's a principal BSDF. Make sure it's not the regular diffuse. Uh, what is it called? Diffuse BSDF. You make you want to make sure you're on the principal shader, and then you just uh, I don't need that. Make sure you have it selected and you hit Control Shift and T. And then it'll bring you up to the folder or to your file selection. And in this case, it went straight to where the project I'm working on. But if I wasn't, you'd go to E and then just go to the folder where you select, uh, saved your, your files from you, where you exported your files from Substance Painter, excuse me. And then you just select all of them. And then you just hit principled texture uh, setup. Bam. And it does all the work for you, which is nice because uh, sometimes it's hard to figure that stuff out. But let me just kind of show you guys what's going on here. So it's a little easier to understand what happened there. Basically, it just applied all your textures in image uh, image maps. And for example, here we have the beer mug uh, base color, metallic, roughness, and open GL. And then it just plugs it all in for you into the appropriate nodes here on the principled shader. And then you just go ahead and give it a quick test render. Check that out. And then there you go. And that's how you set up your Substance Painter exports for use in Cycles Blender. You can add other maps to it if you need to, but uh, I find that this is the simplest way to do it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, hit that like button. And if you want to, uh, see more hit subscribe and bell icon and you'll get alerted as soon as i post new content uh, i do typically stream a couple days a week uh, i won't be this week but uh, i do typically stream about three four days a week and i do try to post uh, little tips and trick tutorials like this uh, whenever i find the time appropriate anyways thanks for tuning in and i will see you guys next time have a good day